is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be working on my e36 specifically we're going to be installing the rk tunes uh tune setup in this car now this is a bone stock e36 328i i bought this rk tunes kit so today we're going to be implementing it into the car so what is included in the kit is the obd to usb um, a cable along with a little T here, which I believe you have to T into some sort of, you have to T a couple wires together under the hood. That's what I'm gonna look up now to make sure I get the right ones together. And we'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty, so I figured out kind of the setup we need to do on their RK Tunes website. They have full instructions on this. I'll make sure to leave a link to RK Tunes down in the description if you wanna check it out. It's not sponsored, this is kind of what I'm rolling with. So the cable we have to connect uh, first before we plug in the OBD is this little guy right here under the engine bay. So what it says is to jump uh, pin number what to say 14 and 18 and that's what this little guy is right here I don't know if you can see very well but this is a little jumper so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there jump those two cables together all you have to do is take off the boot put the wires together use the little jumper smush them together should be set put everything back back together make sure you have a good continuity between them two and we should be ready to move, move on to OBD it's this little guy right here I've already had it taken apart so you just push this little pin it pops right up um, pin number 14 and 18, they're labeled really, really closely down there. But I took the boot off, and I think the instructions said it's a big red and green wire, but mainly go by the pins. So we're going to go ahead and splice those together with this little guy and uh, reassemble it all. We should be pretty good. Alrighty, so we got everything plugged up. I'm just reading through the instructions here. I have the software already downloaded on my computer here. So it says to go ahead and go under their software. I'm gonna go ahead and look through it once, make sure I got everything correctly so I can relay the information to you that's accurate. They provide really good instructions on the website here. I must say it's pretty foolproof for the most part. Now this will take two to three days once I email my file off to them. So essentially what happens is that right now I'm scanning my ECU, my stock ECU. You take that file and you send it off to Arcade Tunes and two to three days later, they'll send you back a tuned file with, it's an EWS delete, you can do raised RPM limiter, uh, crackles, burbles, and like little flames if you want. So yeah, let me go launch my software and I'll get back with you. Okay, all right, I figured it out, I figured it out, I figured it out. So we got everything plugged in. I don't know what I did, but we were fooling with this for some time, trying to figure it out. But as you can see, it is currently reading the stock ECU down here. So this is their software. I'm going to walk you through it real quick as it's uh, as it's reading this. So you select your ECU. Go ahead and look that up. For my E36, it's MS41. Select a 2.8 liter, and then I went down here and hit ECU data. Um, that's whenever this boy popped up right here, along with these numbers in the ECU data um, box up top. Once that once that said OK, I hit read, and then I can go ahead and name a file, which this is what I named it here, and now it's currently reading my stock ECU and when, once this is done it should save it to my computer and I'll send that file off to RK Tunes. Yeah I don't know what the issue was before I just kept trying it and making sure that connector was um, underneath the hood was all good and it finally just started reading it. Maybe it needed to sit here for a minute to make sure it's all good and analyze it but 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay turn off reading completed turn off the key okay Okay, keys off, okay. And then I think we should be good. I can't get out of this without closing everything down. It said reading complete, I think it's saved. So let's see if it's in my files. Okay, here's the file right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and send this file off to RK Tunes. And like I said, it's gonna be about two to three days. We're gonna get that back tuned, ready to be um, about 820 wheel horsepower. More powerful than my E36, along with some nice crackles and burbles, and hopefully we get some flames for you guys. So I'll see you in two to three days. Well, a few days have passed, we're back. We got the tuned file back from Jordan from RK Tunes. I'm really excited. Finally, we can upload it to the ECU of the E36. 
It took about four days, give or take. I mean, I was not in a rush to really do this. So I simply got an email back from him. He said, enjoy, here's the file. I said, thank you very much. So I went ahead, downloaded the file from my email to my computer. I'm gonna go and double check the instructions. That way we can upload it to the ECU correctly. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna walk you guys through this. I have not yet uploaded the new tune file to the ECU, but I just went over the instructions. I think I figured out what to do. So first thing, it is plugged into the OBD port. Uh, the key is currently off. I'm gonna go ahead and open this um, the software here. I'm gonna go and turn the key to ignition on. Okay, so ignition's on. I forgot I wired my fan up to the ignition. Hopefully we can do this quick. So I'm gonna select 2.8. I'm gonna go and click ECU data. And you should get some of these numbers on the top of the screen. This camera and this computer's not really going for it. There you go. Got a few numbers and we're gonna hit <clears throat> open file. And then here is my file here that Jordan sent me back. I'm gonna hit open. So that is loaded in the file data. And then we're gonna go and hit write down here. And this should take just a few minutes is what the instruction said. So it's given us a few, a few messages down there at the bottom, erasing. So what it's doing is pretty much, I guess it's deleting everything off the ECU and re-uploading everything that Jordan uh, tuned in and wrote on this file. So we're at 20% here. I'm gonna check back in with you guys uh, when it gets to 100. Once it hit 100%, something came up, said turn your ignition off for 10 seconds. So I went ahead, turned it off, and then turned it back on. The instructions tell you what to do. So, so it says closing ECU, okay. So I think we're actually good to hit exit. Uh, that, was it. that was the end of the instructions. So we should, be, we should be tuned. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the car outside, fired up, and see how she is. I'm really excited for this. Alrighty, first initial startups. Let's go ahead and crank this thing on, see how she sounds. The math's not plugged in. I might actually have to plug that in to make everything work right, but let's go ahead and give her a shot. All right, the fire's right up to normal, which is good. I gotta move the S13, that way we can get this thing out and give it the full test. go on a drive I gotta tell you guys I'm so excited I'm so excited I hope everything works I really do okay I have my mic faced forward so hopefully you guys can hear me all right I'm gonna go ahead and get the car warmed up so far nothing different but here we go on the road She sure does rev out all the way. Uh, crackles and burbles, not so much right now. I don't know if I need to plug my MAF in or not. I know you're supposed to run with MAF, but I don't. Uh, just how this car has been forever. So I might tweak with it, play it around, see how it goes. Alrighty, round two. I went ahead and plugged the MAF in. Everything's looking good on there. Fired right up. Um, I reflashed and made sure that the ECU was actually, made sure that the tune was actually on there. Um, it does rev out, which is really nice. I don't know. I don't know if it feels any faster. It might a little bit. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe a little bit. It was not very fast before, so I guess any little thing is, uh, helps. As far as the crackles and stuff go, there's nothing more than before. Um, I don't have any cats, so this is pretty much a straight pipe with a muffler. An eBay junk muffler. I don't really like the way this thing sounds. I don't know. We'll see on the crackles. Maybe I'll email Jordan and see, make sure they got in, in the tune. Overall, though, I want to test it out later tonight against Andy's car, because we know mine and Andy's car is about the same speed. So maybe we'll do a little race tonight and so we can uh, so we can see which one's faster.
Alrighty, so what had happened was the police officer kind of pulled us over. Um, we were in kind of an industrial area. He pretty much told us, hey, get out of here, don't do this again. We're like, okay, so we had our fun. We're, we're probably gonna take a break from the industrial skids for quite some time now, especially since we've kind of been discovered and we want to be safe about things and also uh, drift events are coming back around this year so, so that's really exciting so my first impressions on the arcade tunes for one uh the first file that jordan sent me was really good it revved it out ran really well i wanted to ask him and make sure that the burbles got in there because that's kind of something i wanted and then he emailed me back say hey sorry i forgot that here's another file with the burbles and so that is what you heard last was actually the second file that he sent me that I uploaded to the uh, E36 um, the ECU just the same way as I did the first. I gotta say, it's a lot of fun. I'm not sure if it shoots flames. I'm gonna fool around with it for a little bit, see how it see how it does. I'll probably do a full RK review and like some drive-bys and stuff in another video. So make sure you subscribe for that. Overall, really pleased. Me and Andy had a lot of fun driving the streets, um, taking advantage of some of that rain and getting the sliding these E36s, which we love doing. Let me know what you think down in the comments of the E36 crackles and burbles. And if you want some flames, I'm hoping, if you guys want some flames, I'll see if I can get some flames out of this thing. But also don't forget, go hit the thumbs up and subscribe guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.